Hey, it's me. I've been wanting to talk to you about something that's been on my mind. You know, sometimes we struggle with personal growth and finding happiness. I believe that there's a lot of help available to us, more than we even realize. It's like there's this supportive energy. Maybe you call it God spirit, spirit guides, the universe, whatever term you want to use for it. But this energy that really wants to guide us toward harmony and life. But here's the thing. This help can't force its way into our lives. We have to want to grow and be open to it. It's like opening a door. Once we do, we could start to feel that support in real tangible ways. And this also makes us feel more secure and deepen our trust in the goodness around us. Oftentimes, though, we don't pay attention to this help. Even if we believe in something greater, we might think it doesn't affect our personal lives or our day-to-day -day problems. And that can close us off and lead us down to paths that don't really serve us. It might start with a small choice, a seemingly small choice, but then over time, there's a domino effect and we end up feeling lost or stuck, making it harder to find our way back. Even when we want good things and care about others, we might miss what's really holding us. It could be something that seems minor, but actually plays a big role in our happiness. Like maybe we're not open to insights or inspiration because it's more comfortable to stay the same. And that can lead to feelings of sadness or dissatisfaction rather, without us understanding why. I feel like part of my journey is to share these thoughts with you to maybe help awaken something within both of us. Even then, we have to be willing to listen and absorb it, right? But I think it's important to check in with ourselves about our goals and desires. If we're aiming for something selfish, we might find that even if we get it, the satisfaction doesn't last. It's like trying to fill a void that can't be filled that way. If we genuinely care about others' happiness as much as our own, things start to change. Like, I had to start asking myself, do I want happiness just for me, or do I truly wish it for others too? Can I say, can I honestly say, I want to be happy so I can share that happiness and make others' lives better? If we immerse ourselves in that mindset, then it really sink in, we align ourselves with a kind of flow that keeps happiness alive and growing. I mean, think about the blessings in your life. Maybe, maybe it's good health, maybe it's strength, maybe it's a loving relationship. We all have some gifts. If we decide to be a link in the chain, passing on what we've received, we'll not only help others, we also find that our joy increases as well. It's like the more we give, the more we receive. Sometimes we might take our gifts for granted and they lose their shine. I know I've been that. By sharing them, we keep them vibrant and alive. And this applies to everything, love, strength, freedom. When we seek these things, not just for ourselves, but also to help others, they flourish, they expand, they grow. So it's about being open to guidance. If we let go of our ego and really listen, the answers are there. Intuitively, we know we'll find the best ways to share our gifts. Yeah, it might require some sacrifices or stepping outside our comfort zone, but the rewards are so worth them. I know that sometimes life feels unfair and we might wonder why bad things happen or why injustice happens like why justice doesn't seem to prevail i've come to believe that even when things seem unjust there's a bigger picture at play maybe we're being given opportunities to grow or to make things right in ways we don't fully understand in that moment it's important to face ourselves honestly we all have parts of us that we might not like or that we keep hidden when we acknowledge those parts and seek to understand those parts, that's what leads to the real healing and growth.
yeah, it's not easy. It takes a tremendous amount of courage, but it's a needed step, a necessary step towards becoming whole and happy. Sometimes we resist looking inward because it's uncomfortable. By confronting our inner selves, we gain control over those hidden parts. It's like turning on a light in a dark room. We could finally see what's there. And then from that place, start to make positive changes. So I want to encourage you and remind myself to not shy away from this inner world. It might seem daunting. Nothing valuable comes alone. And remember, you're not alone on this journey. There's support. Whether it's from friends, loved ones, your community, or something greater. The last thing I wanted to touch on is this idea of truth and belief. Because there's so much information out there. And it can be confusing when different sources are saying different things. I think that deep down, there's an absolute truth, an objective truth that we can connect with if we're open and willing. It's not about blindly following a set of rules or dismissing everything as relative. That's not what I'm talking about. It's about seeking and experiencing that truth for ourselves. At the end of the day, it's all about connection, connecting with ourselves, with others, with something bigger than ourselves. By being honest, open, and willing to grow, we can find that deeper sense of purpose and fulfillment. Anyway, I just felt like sharing those thoughts with you. I'd love to hear what you think. I love you. Connect soon.